How's it going everyone? Today we're going to take a look at the EasyMat 2 Build Plate Surface by TH3D Studios. My name is Alex and you're watching Modified 3D. The EasyMat 2 is an awesome build plate solution from TH3D Studios. What it is is essentially a sticker that you can put on the back of a Easy Flex plate or a stock reality glass plate, whatever you want to put it on to essentially give yourself better bed adhesion and leave a really nice smooth surface behind. It's not going to be as glossy as the PEI surface from TH3D Studios, yet not as rough as this textured surface on the Easy Flex. So it's a nice little middle ground between glossy and textured and it kind of leaves just like this super nice matte finish. The really great thing about it too is that it works with a wide variety of different filament types. Whether you're using PLA, PETG, ABS, you're not going to have any issues with bed adhesion or at least I haven't yet. And if you ever start to lose bed adhesion, you can take a really fine grit sandpaper and lightly scuff up the surface to help bring it back to life. So far, I've got probably 400 hours of printing on this physical EasyMat 2 right here, and you can see it's pretty worn down. I've never once had to ever uh, scrape it with uh, sandpaper. All I do is every once in a while, maybe every 30 or 40 prints, I'll take a paper towel and some isopropyl alcohol and clean it up and that just kind of helps remove any residual filament like you see built up here. It's probably about time actually. The EasyMat 2 is super cheap, it's affordable, I believe it's like $12, $13, and it comes in a wide variety of sizes. It can also be cut to match whatever build plate you're trying to put it on. This has been put on the back of a EasyFlex textured plate for like I said, quite a long time now, and the adhesive hasn't worn one bit. So you don't have to worry about it peeling off or anything. And the nice thing too, is it actually kind of takes away a tiny bit of the magnet force on these easy flexes, which if anyone has one knows they grip really hard. And if you ever put your easy flex mat down like in a weird position and it's not just perfect, it's really hard to just slide it over. You have to pick it up and then manually move it and drop it back down. With this easy mat, you know, if you're ever deciding to put the easy mat on the downside and use your easy flex, that little buffer between the metal and the magnet gives you just enough room to slide it where there's still a good amount of tension. It's definitely not going to go anywhere, but it's not like impossible where you have to lift it up, move it, and then drop it back down. I think that's just a cool little thing to note, but also something to be aware of. If you have a very weak or uh, your magnet's not very strong, if you put this on a back of a build plate, be warned, it may lift up just because of that reduction in magnet strength. Now, I've never had that happen because these Creality magnets that come with these printers are very strong. Um, and then the TH3D magnet is strong as well. So it's just something to be aware of if you have maybe a cheaper or your magnet starting to wear out. But there's really not much more to these. Just like the other build plate, the PEI and the textured, they're very simple little things. This one obviously isn't a full plate itself. It is just a sticker, essentially. You're gonna lay it on top of it and just nice and smoothly uh, press it out. Unfortunately, I don't have like a spare one to show you guys how to do that, but just peel one corner back of the backing stick it on, get it all square, and then slowly peel the rest off while you hold the corner that's already stuck and take your scraper, get any of the air bubbles out. But I never had a problem. As you can see, it stuck down perfect to it and it fits perfectly to their Easy Flex plates. So that's the review of the TH3D Studios Easy Mat 2. Quick overview. Uh, it's going to have better bed adhesion than glass or the carbon C-Mag. And honestly, I think it has better bed adhesion than both the PEI or the textured flex plate too. So if you're looking for the ultimate in bed adhesion, go ahead and grab this. It works with a ton of different filaments. Uh, and one thing to note is if you have it on the downside, it may reduce magnet strength. 
Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to put them down in the comments. And as always, have a good one.